I brought my boyfriend at the time, and we like second row set. I'm like, oh, this guy's got some pull. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. no, and he was a star. It was ragtime. I was like, oh my god, he was yeah. so brilliant. <laughs> that was fun. Kevin, you got the. Uh, we were treated to a little, a little uh, musical uh, ordeal with you in, in at WonderCon, and I know you like to sing. Can you recall that singing, uh, that opportunity you had to sing in the series? Who? You? Me? Yeah. Well, that was on Jurassic Park. Oh, that was Justice League. <laughs> Assuming you have a couple of questions, we've got a couple of microphones. This will be the last time we give away a DVD box set because next next year, next year we're uh, sometime next year Warner Brothers Home Entertainment smells like discipline. <laughs> Year, sometime later in the year, we are going. Warner Brothers Home Entertainment is going to release a remastered Blu-ray set. And you are the first people to hear about that, so yeah. we're also sending you all an email when to pre-order. So stick around. All right, when you get to the microphone, your job is to say your name. We don't need to know where you're from, but you're going to say it anyway because this is New York. And. Uh, and tell us your favorite episode of Batman the Animated Series. Go. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm, uh... Batty. <laughs> That'd be fun. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, I could be you. Yeah, there you go. I am the knight. <laughs> See, I would have beat you if I was there. <laughs> and um, I ended up taking care of him when he was an old man, but he, a lot of it was, I, I carried it later in life, which is very frustrating. So when the, a lot of the drama of, of Bruce Wayne and the, um, of, of his parental relationship, uh, I definitely used my own drama to feed into that. Um, that scene that that grave, the reason it means so much to me, was because when I was playing it, um, I was putting my heart and soul into it. I was really there. Um, and... But, I mean, we, we, we are... Um, we are instruments of our emotions for, for acting. I, voice acting isn't putting on a funny voice. It's it's embodying a whole character. The reason Tara's so brilliant at Harley Quinn isn't because she can do a high squeaky voice. A lot of women can do high squeaky voices. It's she gets into this crazy, crazy head of this woman. It's just this complicated whack job. <laughs> Those sessions are such good therapy for myself. I bet. I bet. <laughs> to work at all. But the out. audience hears that. You know, you hear that. You relate to it. It's not just a squeaky voice. It's this crazy, crazy broad. <laughs> it's so true. I mean, it's true. I, when I was doing Arkham City, I totally cried when the Joker died. Yeah. Totally cried in the session. Like, uncontrollably crying for him. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, if you don't know that by now, you're at the wrong sad or regret my life, but I have a favorite, which I always love Girls Night Out. Oh, oh, that. Oh, oh, she wants to hear it. She wants to hear it. Yes. If you want to do it, I'll do it. <laughs> I am vengeance. I am vengeance. I am the night. I am Batman.
here from that side. Hi, uh... Oh. So we'll throw him under the bus. <laughs> I like that someone just answered in the audience because it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have thought that that section would, would be the controversial the part? Controversial of that movie. part of yeah. the movie. And the reason we did well, the reason we did a short in front of the movie, uh, in front of uh, uh, the Killing Jokes, because we didn't want to sort of touch the Killing Joke. There was no way to lengthen it right. to 72 minutes, yeah. and and to do that would just be. So we decided to go another route, and people are just, <laughs> people are disturbed. I'm not, but people are disturbed. I wasn't by disturbed. That. <laughs> no, not even a little bit. I liked it. Well, I mean, here's the thing. The reason we wrote that scene the way it was was we we intended it to be wrong. You know, I, I, a lot of people think you know it's like oh we did it because we're shipping those two characters or something. But it's like no, if you watch that scene, the music is telling you oh no, it's not sexy. This isn't like a love story. No, this is a tragedy that this is happening. So you know, I, I don't know, but it seemed like a good idea at the time. I don't know. <laughs> and Batman Beyond, they've had a relationship. Yeah. So. So that's the reason. And it, it, it freaked people out then too, Alan. Huh? It, uh, <laughs> but they're adults. But it's the mentor. He was her mentor. But you know, people make mistakes. People make mistakes, <laughs> and that's drama. So. Do you think it was a mistake? Do you think it was a mistake? No. <laughs> <laughs> that was last year. Are we done? How about right there? Mm. No, I think we're good. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. I don't know. What if you do? Uh, <laughs> and you don't care if you're tired anyway. Well, well, that one's we did so much. So if something occurs to you, just write it down and send it to us. Okay, well. <laughs> Florida, he can call, he can text. He wanted to strip it down. And yeah, I wanted to stick it in the mail. Yeah, I'm old school. <laughs> okay! <laughs> Batman, the animated series 25th anniversary. Woo! Coming to you on Blu ray next year. Uh, when we're done here, I need to see Michael, Monet, Steffi, and Dylan over in that corner. See where those two guys are walking. And Bruce Tim. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next year with something fun. Right here.